All right, a vast you scurvy dogs. Full speed ahead. Do stuff with the mainsail and the gibbet and the glibble. Let's go team. What is up the world? Avast, you scurvy dogs! It is your friendly neighborhood shipwreck Van Dam here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Back, playing some Atlas. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today, guys. That's why right, we got a monkey. His name is Kevin Savvy. No, I mean it is Kevin Savvy. Savvy. Anyway, thanks for coming to hang out with me today, guys. Look at what we have accomplished. Well, actually, the place looks pretty much the same as it did in the last video. But some other stuff and things are happening. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. Smash the thumbs up button if you want to see more Atlas. And thank you very much for all your kind comments. And unbelievable and amazing support on the previous stuff and things. Thanks to everybody. All the new Patreons for coming to support. And we're doing unbelievably well here, guys. 151 people in the company now. It's getting a little bit out of control. We're doing our best. Look at this place, man. Look at the scattered aisles. It's so friggin' packed, I can't even believe it. And we have settlements on other islands that I have no idea what's going on over there. I mean, I haven't even been over there to visit. I've just been working with stuff and things over here. So, yes, the booty barnacles are doing quite well, in fact. Uh, you may notice, disclaimer, everybody, disclaimer. You may notice in this video that there is some framey stuff and things going on. Um, we can't seem to figure out exactly what's going on with the frames here. There doesn't seem to be that many buildings. But I know that um, I do believe that Atlas is an offshoot or like a fork off of Arc that happened about a year ago. So it may not have all the optimizations that the most current versions of Arc do. I know that if I take my settings and I flatline them on the lowest possible settings of all, or I put them as high as they could possibly go, I get the same frames. Um, and my CPU and GPU both stick at a rate around 30%. So I'm not really sure exactly how to optimize it. I've tried doing all sorts of different things, but we're just going to have to deal with it for now. When we move away from the area, it works quite nicely, in fact. But I do have something else to show you as well. That's right, hot accordion action, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. I know a song, I think. How does it go? <laughs> Dude, chariots of fire. What? Remember from that movie? Andy Hoosel. Today we're building a schooner. That's right. We've got to start working on some stuff and things. Oh, doing stuff on the galleon. That reminds me. I have a couple galleon pieces. But doing stuff and things on the galleon has made us realize that we really aren't going to be able to get all the resources that we need from just one place. You have to travel in this game, especially with some of the higher end blueprints. If I'm not mistaken, like this, for instance, says alloy three times 105. That means three separate types of alloy. Flint three times five. That means three different types of flint. Now, when I say different types, for those of you who don't understand, I can display I can show you this. I can explain it. Up inside of here, I think I should be able to show you right here. So, for instance, right there, uh, chalcedony? Chalcedony? I don't even know how. Chalcedony? Anyway, that's flint. Also here, chert. That's flint. Those are both flints, so you need two different types. So anyway, the point being, we have a lot of traveling that we're going to need to do. So the galleon, mostly for wartime activities, but also could possibly be used for gathering. We will also need schooners so that people can go out on gathering missions. Remember, the sloop right there, the unsinkable 2, is doing its thing. But um, I think we're going to need to have some more weight here. So, all right, we have two more pieces. All right, and the galleon is coming together quite nicely. I think the biggest bottleneck we have for that is metal. But people have been gathering up a huge amount of stuff and things for it. So it's been super, super cool. And and a huge thank you to the community for doing the things that the community does. You know, with all the people that are joining on Salvation, be it Mousy Mars or Zapdos, Drax or Zul'jin, uh, Evil Zack, Pyrelight, uh, Ocean Lo Wang, people from our community, people from other communities have banding together to make this work out well. And we're really not running into a lot of issues. It's been really, really cool. Um, our community building has been overhauled a bit. In future episodes, I definitely want to get to doing some more um, building. We need to have our own house. And then somebody put this bad ombre in my inventory. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. But yeah, there's a lighthouse. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. We might need to tell everybody, like, you need to move your buildings. We're going to build a lighthouse here, and that's going to be it. So, all right, Schooner Stuff and Things. A huge shout-out to the community for helping to gather resources. We're going to start off right here. 
Uh, it just says craftable schooner. It should say like schooner hull or schooner frame or something. Let's go ahead and go ahead and grab that guy. And then bam. Look at it, peeps. The schooner has begun. Already it is the thing. Um, and let's take a look and see what other things we're going to need. I think we need the decking, right? Now, which de Wait, what's this? Grenades? Food larder. All right. So I think we need, I don't know. Do we need the large decking or do we need medium ship wood decking for this? Um, and all oh, do this metal in here too. Oh, awesome guys. Thank you so much to the community for helping to gather stuff up. Let's go ahead and put some wood inside of here. Like so and like so. Now, hmm, I'm wondering. I'm feeling like large wood ship deck. It's probably medium, right? Oh, we're going to need a little bit of thatch in here, too. Do we have some? Are there? Is there? Thatch? Oh, yeah, baby. All the thatch. All the hot thatch action a boy could ever want. Pop over here. Squirt that in here. All right. So, medium decking. Let's just craft one. And let's see if that's what we're going to... Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Oh, wait. There's already two in here. Or there's already one in there. All right. Let's check it out. So there should be a couple of decks here. There we go. We can go like this guy. We can tee it, I think. Oh, no. We can't tee it. Can we cue it? Okay. Q. T. Okay. So we can't tee this deck. Place that guy down right there. And we can't do anything more with this. It doesn't have like an open variety. Oh, what? We don't need to do that. Dude, there's going to be so many... I can't believe it. I'm kind of confused, actually. Interesting. I thought that we could build... Because, like, with the galleon, you can choose to have, like, a fully formed deck with maybe a couple of little holes. Or you can choose to have, you know what I mean, a partially formed deck. But it looks like I can't change this here. Snaps for Q, one of one, it says. Looks like that's going to have to be it. And we're going to have to build our own wooden decking to put on there. Interesting. Very interesting, in fact. Oh, wait. I feel like... Hold on a second. There's a way that you can build up in here, too. There's got to be a way, I do believe, for the decking up here to be higher. You know what? Let me take a look over here. I'll show you guys on a schooner that's already been built. Let's float over here. Swim over here. And we'll check this guy out. Oh, maybe there isn't an upper deck. I thought there was an upper deck on this. Let me see. Down inside of here, the hold. I see what they've done. Something pretty simple. I think we might try to put and see if we can put gun ports on ours. But I'm down. I'm into this. Can you climb up here? Nah, it's very, very nice. All right. So I thought there were a couple more things. I was checking out some boat building from other YouTubers. I was looking at some brigantines, some galleons, and some schooners. And I thought there was an upper deck over here. I'm going to play around with getting this first part finished. And then I'll be our bees, peeps. Uh, so I started doing whoa, whoa, started doing some stuff and things over here, and we have the bottom part of the hull constructed and ready to go down here. There are, I do believe, seven of these, seven of these planks on each side. They're medium planks. We have a total of fourteen, and I'm also hearing that maybe we shouldn't have placed the bottom decking, but I'm not sure about that or why that is. Um, I have a bunch of other stuff and things ready to rock over here, so let's go ahead and take a look at grabbing these guys. All right, so inside of these on the sides, under cover of darkness or the beginnings of, I think we want to do five of these. So it would be one, two, three, four. No, right here. One, two, three, four, five, like that. So we're going to go ahead and add these guys here. One, two, three, four, five. Nail the days to keep you stop. Then we'll go over to the other side, like I said. And then just make sure we're on the right spot. Wait, right over here. Oh, baby, 10 gun ports. And I got to say again, big shout out to the community for helping to gather resources for this. This stuff is not easy to do. It's not cheap. So very, very cool of them to help out with our community schooner. So back here, we're going to go ahead and just use planks for the backside like so. And then in the front here, let's go ahead and add more planking in. Do we have four? Oh, we only need two. Sweet. That's a huge section right there. All right, it's getting a little bit dark. Let me go ahead and use our lantern. That's right. Check it out, peeps. Look at the little lantern down there, man. <laughs> if you haven't been able to build one yet and you're playing Atlas, it's, it's like you definitely need one. You've got to get that lantern going. So let's go ahead and grab these guys. We'll squirt that in there. We'll grab all these bad hombres. And then we're also going to need to craft some stuff and things. Uh, let me go like, uh, well, we're going to need 
hold on here. Some hot fiber action. Oh, no. Is that all I've got? Uh-oh. I think I'm going to have to go on a little expedition here. We have just a little bit of wood left. Dude, there's no fiber. All right, let's squirt this inside of here. I'm going to have to go get some more fiber because we've got to start building. I've got 24 of the ceilings. But we're also going to need to do um, some other stuff and things around here. So I'm going to try to build some walls and stuff in addition to just the regular decking. So like this, we're going to place these guys down like so and like so. We'll place these guys. You know what? Right there, I'm going to leave a hole. I think I'm going to put a trap door here. And then we're going to put a ladder. Oh, no! Crap, my mistake. Hold on. We can actually do this because things are unbelievable and amazing. We have a certain amount of time that we can pick stuff up in Atlas. So, so very nice of them. So we'll place these guys down here on like so. And that's it. All right. So you see, we're going to need some more hot fiber action. Thankfully, I have a sickle on me right here. And we have lots of fiber in the bay. So we're going to go ahead and start getting that going. Getting some more fiber ready to rock and roll. And we will continue with our schooner build. And the sun is rising. And I noticed something pretty cool. Look at the deck. There's like wet spots and dry spots. Does that look, look, not look amazing words? So cool. So again, I'm not sure. I, I saw somebody saying that you shouldn't build the bottom deck until you've built the top area up or something like that. But this seems to be working out okay. If we TT this over to a stairway, we're having a little bit of trouble placing this the way that I want to, but you can easily fix that. I do believe with Q, he's done it. Nailed the nays to can't be stopped. So now we can come down here into the lower deck. Look at it, baby. We can open up these bad hombres now. Can we close it from the same area? Do you have to look at it? Oh, weird. Okay, you have to actually look at the wall and then hit E. There's our gun ports. So very, very cool. Now over here, I do believe what we want to do is go ahead and use, wait, wait, I have it right here, our ladder. And then can we place this right there? Now, will that work? Climb up. Okay, feels good, team. Can we climb down? Mm, uh, yes. Okay, yes, we can. We can climb down. You kind of have to jump off. All right, awesome, awesome, sweet. So now we wanted, whoa, whoa, what do we got going on over here? It's a hot, meaty titan. So we want to do some stuff and things over here. And what I'm thinking about doing is something like this. And then let us do like this. And then over here, like so. Okay, now we should be able to do one of these guys. Make it into... Crap, this didn't work. Pick it up quick. Quick, quick, quick. All right, and now I'll go ahead and place this guy. All right, so we got a little window deal. We got this little deal over here. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and place a wall here. And then a wall here. Like so. And then I'm wondering if I do that, will it stick out of the side of the ship? Let's have a look over here and see... No, that actually looks pretty good. It doesn't look that bad. What I'm trying to do over here is to make... I got a level two. But I'm trying to make a little area where we can climb up on top to put our wheel. And make it look more like a... Kind of like a ship would would, would be with an upper deck. Uh, not like that. So uh, we're going to need to do some hot ceilings as well over here. But yeah, this thing's coming along pretty good. I'm very excited about it. Uh, let's... Blah, 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 like so. Saboa has been unbelievable and amazing in helping out. Uh, Saboa is the master of farms on the server doing stuff and things like so let's go ahead and grab these let's grab this let's pop back over here uh let's go ahead and level up i've been pumping hps quite a bit only 11 points left i think i'm gonna need a respec here pretty soon so like so now if we okay like that and like that and like that now if we do this does that poke out the back Oh, gross. It does. Mm, do not like. Not a fan. Um, Jeez, that stinks, man. That really is too bad because I feel like it would be amazing. Uh, let's just go ahead and pick that guy up. There's just going to be a hole there. Can I do anything? If I, What if I do that? Does that stick out the back? It does. Oh, man. I don't think that's going to be okay. Like... This gets into the thing where, do you care that much about how it looks, or would you rather have this go all the way back? Um, I guess we'll go ahead and pick up this guy. 
Let's think about what if we were to try to. Nah. Nah. Can we rotate that at all? No. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything with it. I think that's just going to have to be the way that it is. Um, so, okay. In addition to all of those deals, do we have any more walls? I have some ideas to make a little bit of a railing deal over here. Okay, we do have some of these. Pop those over there. Pop these over here. Like so. Now, we come up over here. Should be able to go like so. And then... Like that. And then we can do here. Like this. See what I'm see what I'm getting at? Oh, whoa, 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 wait a second there. Oh, that was cool, I think. We do the railing there. Oh, dude, that's cool. Oh, perfect. Love it. Super, super excited about it. So I'm thinking, geez, there really just isn't anything we can do about this. Um, is it a way we can climb down? I mean, you kind of can climb down. We could go like this. block that off so this room looks more like a room i'm kind of loving the room i'm kind of super into this so this is where i'm thinking we're going to put the sail i mean for functionality the sail or the the wheel pardon me the wheel would be best placed near where the um the sails are but i feel like we want to make this into like a real ship so i think what we're going to do back here is just place these guys oh wrong misplaced oh no old arc stuff and things are coming into my mind why? Why can't I do this now? Hold on, can I cue it? <gasps> I did cue it. He's done it! Nailed it, Ace! The can't be stopped! Oh, crap, quick. Okay, we gotta do this one, too. Okay, guys, stuff and things go great. I think that we're gonna be able to do two sales on here. Let's go ahead and check this out. Two mediums. So if we put this on, you can see right there, uh, required sale units 1.7 and a total of two. So we will be able to put two sails on here. We'll be able to put a medium and, or two mediums, pardon me. I want to do a medium handling sail and a medium speed sail. So what I'm thinking about doing is doing one, let me see here. Can we go even further back, one further back like that. And then the speed sail further forward. We could do one right here. Cause I also actually want to try to place the dinghy deal. So there's the dinghy deal. Let me go ahead and show you the dinghy deal too. Cause I think we want to, tr whoa. Jeremu Finlander kicking some butts. All right, so let's pop that over here, like so. And I'm feeling, I don't know if we really need it for this size ship, but I just think it would be fun. If we put this guy over here like this, there it is right there. And I think that we can access the inventory of this. And then if we add in the fiber statue and wood, we'll be able to put a dinghy on the side of the boat. So we're gonna wait to do that until we're done. But that means that we know where that's going to be placed. Now we can take a look and see where we want to place this. I think the medium handling sail and then one speed sail would be best. So this guy may be... That's kind of too far in front of that. Put that guy right there like that. Look at it, baby! Stuff and things are happening! All right, sweet. So there's the handling sail. Now let's pop up over here and take a look at getting a uh, speed sail made. I do believe we have all the things in the loom that we need to make this happen. Let's pop over here. And come inside of here. And then we're looking for the medium, that's medium handling sail, medium speed sail. I hope this looks right. I hope we place these in the right in the right spots. I really do. Um, I don't think it matters which one you place where, but I think it would be, for looks, it would be cooler to have them in a certain way. Um, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and place this guy over here. Like so, or a little bit further forward. Let's pop out here and take a look. Like this. We have a little bit more room on the deck. That looks kind of even. And then we'd have a little bit more room on the front of the deck. If we did it like that. Oh, it kind of looks better like this, though, I think. And in the words of Corrales, poop it down, no regrets. All right, poop it down, no regrets. There it is. You guys, we are close to done here man i mean additional stuff and things we can do for sure coming down into here getting some storage going maybe putting some cannons down as well inside of here would be freaking great um but i'm very excited i'm very liking the look of this so we could pop up here go like this climb up nail the ace the can't be stopped dude the schooner's almost done oh i put door over here too by the way inside of this guy so you can open that guy either way very, very cool. 
And I'm liking the building system in Atlas quite a bit. It's much, much easier. You build a door that fits here, that fits here. The door fits over here too. You don't need a million different pieces. You just need the door. But yeah, this thing's looking great. We just need to put some finishing touches on it though. Ladies and gentlemen, rip the frames. Stuff and things are happening. The launch of the new ship is ready to rock and roll. Let's look down here like so. Release the ship. Oh my God, Brenda is born. No, not Brenka, Brenda. Yeah, baby, we're off. The community came out to say hello. I'm on the wheel. All right, a vast you scurvy dogs, full speed ahead. Do stuff with the mainsail and the gibbet and the glibble. Let's go team. We're gonna take a little bit of a, oh, 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 oh no, oh no. Oh, it's go fast. Wow, it's fast, she's fast. Dude, we're gonna head out of Booty Bay on our new ship. Look, the sails look great. I actually wish I'd have done them the other way, I think, but it still looks pretty cool. I'm totally down for it. Oh, she's fast too. Look at the scooter, man. It's unbelievable and amazing. Wait, where's our wind at? Hold on. Okay, we wanna keep it going in a this way direction. We're gonna have to try to head around. We're gonna do some stuff and things. Look at everybody that's here, man. So many people are coming to hang out. Sergeant Mofo, Tom Furley, USMC Blades, and String being the pink mist. That's Blades yet. Aussie and Low Wang, Meaty Titan, Lime Force Thief. Evil Zack is here as well. Look at this, man. Our friggin' scooter is so beautiful. It's the best thing that ever happened in the history of schooners. Dude, look at it. Woo! <laughs> Unbelievable and amazing. The schooner is born. Oh, it leveled up. Or I think we're gonna be using this primarily for weight. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. We're gonna do an additional, well, let's do another accommodation first. We'll bump two levels into accommodation so we can get a second bed. But yeah, we're going. Someone else take the wheel in case we need to. I'm gonna show off some of the stuff and things on the ship. Let's go ahead and build the dinghy. We can access the inventory over here now, and I brought the materials to go ahead and do that. So now there you can see we have a hot dinghy on the side of the deal. What's the weight looking like? 3,000 out of 9,000 weight. So we pop inside of here. We can open our window. Look how cool it is, man. And then pop down over here and put a chair right there. Also, thank God. Hello, frames. You feel so good. Oh, look at the water going by. Oh, no, we're in a storm. Oh no, you're kidding me. No, not already. Batten down the hatches. It's gonna be a wet one. Blades is in the, he's taking the wheel. Let's take a look and see here. So over here, I did build a little front area with a single bed that you can see. It looks like Zach is already asleep. Uh, okay, and then pop up here. And here we are. Now, let me see here. I also added some water barrels. So we wanna make sure those are open now. Get the water barrels open. Well, they'll, they'll fill with seawater now. Dude, look at this. Oh my God, look at him walking like that. It's amazing. Okay, I'm going up. Let's head up top here. Oh, does that look amazing? Dude, it's a Lieutenant Dan moment right now. Is that the best you can do? Is that all you've got? Oh no, we're gonna sail to a different zone. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, hold on. Oh, dude, there'll be no storms in the other zone. It'll be perfect. Here we go, Pete. Abandoned raft to the starboard side. Port side, port side, abandoned raft. Oh, oh wait, we're trying to climb down. Hold on, resume. Stop, like so. Ah! Took a little bit of a hit. Look, a, a wayward traveler. Don't kill him. Be nice, don't kill him. <laughs> Poor guy just sleeping out here in his abandoned raft. Feels bad, man. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited. I feel like this came out so nice. I'm very excited because this is gonna be one of the first builds that we've done for the community. 
Uh, the community has done it, of course, but really this boat, uh, this ship is for the community, for, for us to go ahead and do stuff and things together, uh, be able to go out and gather resources. And uh, yeah, it's very, very exciting. So thank you to everybody for the, for the Slipgator Peep Nation for doing stuff and things. Make sure if you like this video, don't forget, show your support, smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favor the videos you see tip fit. Well, I was thinking moves, so I said the T word and made the stuff and things be with you. Whoa! Yeah.